is this man? This guy has come down like an absolute god. We are getting spoilt at the minute because D Marsh has released another song only days after releasing his last song. This one's called Kelly Mecken. I ain't got a clue what it means, but I've got my subtitles on just in case. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this. Let's check it out. This one is an official music video. Right, okay, Dimash, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's like a travel, time travel through history, this. Oh, it's dramatic, isn't it? Who is this man? This guy has come down like an absolute god into dramatic, like, like really, really aggressive music, almost rock sounding, and he's almost like spitting facts. <laughs> he come through. He's like come down like a god, like he's come through the. Uh, the solar system and like, like landed like oh you know what I mean like what he could have actually come down with that heavenly voice that he's got <laughs> do you know what I mean right oh my sacred land my sacred land is he talking about the planet is he talking about the place where he's from I don't know let's find out that's cool Okay. I'm not used to this uh, this aggressive sound from Dimash. I'm used to as it, as it, like this. Uh, can't even speak the like the godly sound that comes out with all the the you know operatic sound. This is like in your face. I feel like he's paying homage to the people who came before us, and it, well, people came before him in that in that land, in that place where he's talking about. Is he talking about the place where he lives? He looks like he's got, he's on the set of Star Wars um, Phantom Mace where they did the, the race in the pods and stuff. That's what the, it, or the Grand Canyon or something. That's where he looks like he is. But this is like, you know, you know, paying homage to those who came, ancestors, and, ancestors, oh, I can't say ancestry, ancestry. Struggle with that word. Don't know. They didn't know I did. He's paying homage to his ancestors. And like I say, the people who paved the way for people today. Right, okay, let's go. Oh, uh, history is like a mighty oak and it's deep rooted. There's some really, really good choreography in this. Not only that, there's really, really nice scenes. Where has he filmed this? It, obviously, he's filmed it in a few different locations, but I mean, is what, there's a bit 
talking about maybe blood spilled and stuff like that? Is he talking about like people who fought for the land and stuff like that? Is that what he's talking about? I'm not sure. Maybe like I suppose like um, people who went to war to make like the freedom that we've got today sort of thing. Is that the same? Is it Kazakhstan that um, the match from? I think it is, isn't it? And did they have a history? Because obviously I don't know anything about the history in that part of the world. Um, did they have a history where people fought for the land, fought for the country, and obviously now he's now Dimash is um, acknowledging that and like obviously paying respect to him, like a bit like what we do with like um, what we do with the Remembrance Day and stuff. Is that sort of thing? Let me know in the comments. But I tell you what, this aggressive uh, Dimash is cool. <laughs> the car progressions and the car progressions where it goes into the instrumental parts dun, 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 dun. it's like a proper rock riff it is like a stereotypical rock song that this the, the formula they've used for years and years and years and it sounds absolutely brilliant <laughs> A lightning bolt into the air. Kazakhstan, there you go. I remembered. Born bold. Is there any more at the end or is it just credits? There's no more scenes, so we don't need to watch credits, do we? Um wow, so this this is a guy who's is talking about him, him his people, his the place where he lives everything to do with Kazakhstan and the fact that the people there are born bold and you know stand up for what they believe in and all that sort of stuff proper proper rallying song that was and uh, yeah a different side to Dimash that I've uh, never seen because like I say a lot of the stuff he sung has been like really nice or operatic or it's been a cover song or do you know what I mean but this was like stepping straight out of his genre into a rock genre and proving that this guy is diverse and can and can do basically any sort of music he wants to and that's like is that say this song was a testament to that anyway what did you guys think of this reaction let me know in the comments don't forget to check out dmash's original video give it a like give it a follow etc and i'll see you in the next reaction <laughs>